Und damit wieder willkommen zurück zu Let's Play Red Dead Redemption 2. So, wir treffen uns jetzt hier auf unserer, ja, noch zu bauenden Farm mit Ankel und Charles. Dann schauen wir doch mal, ob wir das Ganze hier ein bisschen voranbringen können. Ah, feels like old times. <lacht> Good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Well, get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here. Come on, tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <lacht> let's get going. Now just. Okay, also reißen wir die Bude ein. Komm, komm, komm. Komm, 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 komm. Good horse this way. Ja, ja. Ich zieh doch, ich zieh doch, ich zieh doch. Komm. Jawohl. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. Uh, but if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Genau. Heitschen im Zweifel aus. So, Heimwerken für Anfänger. Ist schon durch und haben wir sogar auf Gold. Sehr schön. So, dann haben wir jetzt... Genau, dann können wir jetzt hier direkt nach Blackwater. Okay, kaufen wir ein Fertighaus. Dann schauen wir doch mal. Oh, na komm. Steig auf, genau. Und dann gucken wir mal, was er da so für uns hat. Ich hoffe, dass wir da vielleicht sogar eine kleine Auswahl bekommen, dass wir uns ein bisschen was aussuchen können. Ich hoffe es zwar, aber ich glaube es fast nicht. Ich habe so ein bisschen das Gefühl, ja, dass wir da was vorgeschrieben bekommen. Aber wir schauen uns das einfach mal an. So. Dann ist das jetzt bestimmt wieder so eine Heimwerkerfolge oder so. Das hatten wir ja auf der anderen Farm auch schon mal. Hallo Freunde. Oh, euch kennen wir sogar schon. Okay. Untersucht haben wir die schon. Dann können wir ganz entspannt... Nach Blackwater reiten. So, dann müssen wir gleich mal gucken, wo genau. Oh, jetzt müssen wir hier aufpassen. Nicht, dass wir hier wieder irgendwo runterfliegen. Oh, okay. So. Dann schauen wir doch mal nach unserem Fertighäuser-Typ. Ich glaube, da drin ist es, oder? Genau. Oh, sieht gut aus. So. Steigen wir mal ab. Der Typ, da ist das bestimmt, ja? In dem blauen Overall. Ne, ein Anzug ist es. Ein Anzug hat er an. Okay. Excuse Hallo, me, Sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <lacht> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know. He's telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <lacht> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Which house do you want? Each one ah, sehr is schön. entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? 
I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Yeah, these Skinners can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. Okay. Auf geht's. Ja, ja. Ich folge. Dann lass uns doch schnell fahren. Und gucken wir mal, ob wir gleich Besuch bekommen. Aber ich gehe mal davon aus. Sei. Is your friend a negro or a red skin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look. Trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey! We're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Uh -huh. What were you saying? People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When Na I come, get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. Is this really the shortest track here? Good. Am I fine? Uh, we wollten doch eigentlich. Nee, genau da. So fahren wir aber, glaube ich, hier, oder? Wo fahren wir denn hin? Ich dachte, das ist für uns jetzt hier. Na gut. Oder ich habe mal wieder nicht aufgepasst für den Moment. Das kann natürlich auch sein. Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks. Ach so, da holen wir. Ah, jetzt holen wir hier noch mal was, oder? This is the spot. Just up ahead. Okay. Okay. 
You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Jo, danke. Stimmt, wir müssen auch die Werkzeuge, das haben wir völlig verdrängt. Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best Smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Whew. Okay. <laughs> okay. Beecher's Hope. Jetzt nach Beecher's Hope. Alles klar. Property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. Uh, natürlich. Okay, so. Ah, das war ja gar kein Gegner. Hä? Komm. Gute Frage. Natürlich auch noch von zwei Seiten. Ganz toll. Komm. Gibt's doch nicht. Uh. Komm, jetzt genau. Komm nochmal raus. So. Wen haben wir noch? Dich haben wir noch. Puh. Okay. Okay, auf geht's. Schnell, schnell, schnell. Kann ich da nicht auch einfach... Na. Komm, 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 weiter, weiter, weiter. Den haben wir noch, dich haben wir noch. Ja, vermutlich müssen wir den jetzt auch erstmal. Wo ist der letzte? Sitzt er da oben im Baum irgendwo? Tatsache. So, wo sind die jetzt? Ja, ich kehre zu Scholz zurück. Oh. Ah. Ich bewundere ihn für seine Disziplin. Dass er da so ruhig stehen bleibt, obwohl wir ihm den Hut weggeschossen haben. Komm, komm, komm. Boah, wie viele sind denn das? Komm. Uh. Komm. So. Okay, Wayne. Hallo? Charles, I've done the tools. Now 
Where's Mr. Hmm. Shit. All right. Jesus. Schade, war ein sympathischer Typ. Okay, gehen wir zurück. Hm. Wirklich schade. Also ich fand die nett. So. Ist er halt für unsere kleine Farm gestorben, ne? Genauso wie sehr, sehr viele von den anderen. Ja, wofür eigentlich gestorben sind? Wegen den Werkzeugen? Hm. So, komm, komm, komm. Auf jeden Fall verraten das. So. Hallo Freunde, da sind wir wieder. Genau. Na komm, Charles. Bewick dich. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Ja, das habe ich vor. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. Hm. Schön wär's, ne? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Uncle! Uncle! Oh, no. uh. Uncle! You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. You poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we've scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. You say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Kredit erhalten. Okay. Aber guck mal, zumindest in Silber. Töte alles Kinderbrüder, die sich in den Bäumen verstecken durch Kopfschüsse. Ah, ja. Schließe die Mission nur mit Handfeuerwaffen ab. Okay. Hm. Morgen. Ja, guten Morgen. Jetzt habe ich das eben gerade. Irgendwas wurde mit Kredit bezahlen, stand da eben gerade. Hm. Das konnte ich jetzt so schnell gar nicht lesen. So, dann. Anke hat ja nochmal eine Mission. Ich glaube, das ist... Ich glaube, ich weiß, was jetzt kommt, deswegen machen wir das nochmal eben. Das ist, glaube ich, nur eine kurze Sache. Hallöchen, Onkel. Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> But I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got. Which is a brain. Are you use what you've got? Which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation. 
Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six-foot-deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? He'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. <laughs> Na dann bauen wir die Bude mal auf, ja? Oder die bauen die Bude auf. Okay, anheben. Dürfen wir also auch was tun. Bam, 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 bam. Jawohl, weiter geht's. Ein Vögelchen sitzt da. So. Jawohl. Das muss super anstrengend sein. Okay, komm, hoch, hoch, hoch. So. Und nochmal hoch, hoch, hoch. And I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. 
but I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Na, mir scheint, wir müssen unbedingt mal wieder zum Friseur und uns rasieren, wa? Hm. Wunderbar. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Gute Frage. Wo ist er? So, ein neues Jerusalem haben wir auf Silber. Was hätten wir da machen sollen? Hämmer die Nägel mit einer Genauigkeit von 80% ein. Okay. Ja, gut. Das... <lacht> Keine Ahnung, wo wir jetzt irgendwie daneben gehauen haben oder so, aber ist ja auch wurscht. So, ich würde sagen, wir sind für heute erstmal wieder durch. Dann bedanke ich mich auf jeden Fall fürs Zuschauen. Wir erfreuen uns jetzt hier erstmal unserem neuen Haus. Und ja, dann hoffe ich, sehen wir uns morgen in der nächsten Folge wieder. Ciao.